Well, hey, my name's Lanicia Mayberry. Let's talk website pics and stories, shall we? We shall. So first of all, it's very important that if you don't already have a picture on your website, that you go to your back office right now and get one there. Why? Well, it shows professionalism. It shows that you take your business seriously. We sell $5 jewelry. And in order for us to demand respect, in order for others to take our business seriously, we must first do that. And so you having your picture on your brand, showing your smiling face shows just that. So you wanna make sure that you have a picture on your website to greet your customers and potential business partners. So when people do a zip code search, when they go to paparazziaccessories.com, they can search for consultants in their area based on the zip code. What do you think they're looking for? Surely not the paparazzi crown, right? No, they're looking for faces. They're looking for someone they can connect to, someone they vibe with, someone that they feel that just by their face, they feel comfortable enough to sign up with this person, to partner with this person and start their own business journey. So you wanna make sure that you have your picture there so that they can feel you, they can fill you out, they can uh, get an idea of what type of person you are from your picture. This is why it's important to be active on the first. Am I right about it? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's important to be active on the first. You don't wanna to wait till the 20th of the month to get active. What about all those other 20 days that someone could have possibly doing, been doing a website search and not even saw you because you weren't active? So make sure you're getting active on the first so you have full access to everybody who's trying to get access to you. So let's talk about what types of pictures are appropriate and the pictures that we shouldn't have on our website. Okay, so your picture should be a headshot. It should be about this much of uh, your face, okay? It should not be the following. Number one, a bathroom shot. <sighs> Let's keep the bathroom, shower curtains, and sometimes the toilet out of the background of the picture that is the face of our business. Have some professionalism, have some respect about your business and use a different background. You wanna make sure that you mind your background and that you're cautious of what's behind you when you're taking your picture. Number two, seat belt selfies. Arr, these make me cringe, not for your business. Just because that picture got a whole bunch of likes on Facebook or IG does not mean that that's the best picture to represent your brand and your business. So mm, mm, mm. no seatbelt selfies on your website picture. Number three, full body shots. Okay, so there's a couple things here. First of all, the jewelry is the star. So if you're showing a full body shot in a website picture that's about this big, how can they see the jewelry? Not only that, we are selling jewelry. This isn't eHarmony. So close up on the camera and make sure that they can see your bright smiling face and the jewelry clearly. As paparazzi consultants, we have learned to do certain poses where you can see more than one piece at a time, right? Use that to your advantage and take a great picture and upload it to your website. Now here's some tips just in case uh, you don't have anyone to take a picture for you. You definitely don't want anything looking like this on your website. Here's a few tips that'll help you out to get a more professional looking shot. The first one is you can get a shutter bug. I have put the link to Amazon to purchase one in the comments. It's only like $10. It connects by Bluetooth to your phone. You click the button with one hand and pose with the other hand, take as many pictures as your heart desires. Another way that you can take pictures for yourself if you don't wanna make the investment into a shutter bug or those types of devices is that you could just simply set the timer on your phone. Put your phone on a tripod, 
set the timer, get in position, hold the position, snap the shot, okay? That's gonna give you a better, more professional looking shot for your website. Remember, the jewelry is the star. You wanna make sure that the jewelry can be seen clearly and distinctly. People already know that the jewelry is $5. We need to show them that the jewelry doesn't look like it's $5. Lastly, the story. Put your story on your website. Make sure you proofread it though, please and thank you. But put your story out there. It doesn't matter if you just joined today or if you've been in the business for nine years. Put your story on the website. You never know who's gonna come across your story and connect with that, and that would be the sole reason why they end up joining you in the business versus someone else. So put your story out there. Proofread though. So that's it. Now I've got some homework for y'all. You ready? Here it is. I want you to go to paparazziaccessories.com, put your zip code in, look at all the pictures of the people that come up with your picture and make yours stand out. That's your homework. Do it and see what type of results you get. So that's all for this week, hustlers. See you next week with more tips for your business. As always, continue to Hustle hard. I hope this video was helpful to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. See you next time.